Hello children, I'm Miss Jocelyn Flores and welcome back to another English Capsule. In this opportunity, we are going to review some contents of units number 5 and 6. This is a video for the 6th grade. Let's begin. Here we have unit number 5, vocabulary. Remember, daily routines. Let's begin. As you can see here, I put some hours, I put some uh, pictures and then sentences and I put some words that are in red. All those words that are in red are the vocabulary of this unit. So, for example, at 6 a.m. I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Here. I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. 6 o'clock. Okay, and that is the action of get up. Then, here you have, I take a shower at 6.30, 6.30 and I take a shower. I get dressed at 6.45, pay attention here, with the shoes, with the, with the skirt, at 6.45, I get dressed. I have breakfast at 7 o'clock, pay attention here to the hour, 7 o'clock, have breakfast. Then, I start school at 8 o'clock. You have a board here, a teacher, a student, so I start school at 8 o'clock. Then, pay attention here, you have pizza, mm, yummy. I have lunch at 12.30, 12.30, have lunch. I have lunch at 12.30. And I finish school at 2.45, I finish, when I finish all my classes. Let's continue with the next pictures, daily routines. Remember that that is the vocabulary of unit number five. I get home at 3.15. I get home. I get home at 3.15. I do my homework at 4.15. I do my homework, all the things that I cannot do at school. At 6 p.m., I have dinner at 6 o'clock. Pay attention here, I have dinner. And after that I have dinner, I watch TV at 7.30. 7.30, I watch TV. And finally, at the end of the day, I go to bed at 9.30. I go to bed at 9 30. Let's go now with grammar. Let's talk a little bit about that. Here I have some examples. Well, I hope that you it's going to be this very familiar for you. For example, here is Miss Jocelyn. See you in class, in online classes. And I teach English, of course, because I am an, I am an English teacher. Okay, I teach you English. So I teach English. But here in this other photo we have something, someone, sorry, that is very, very famous. Probably you know better than better than I, yes. Here is Ninja and Ninja plays Fortnite. Pay attention to this letter over here. Ninja plays Fortnite. And finally we have a photograph in this part of BTS. And BTS, because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven members of BTS, sing K pop. BTS sing K pop. Here we have uh, some boxes that are going to be very, very helpful for you. You have the subject pronoun and the verbs I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. And pay attention that the only thing that change is it's when you have he, she, and it. He lives, she lives, it lives. The rest of the subject pronouns doesn't have an S. Remember that you add an S or ES only when you have she, he, or it. Only when you have he, she, or it. Let's talk about a little bit of spelling variations and here we have some words. I underline in red some endings of these words, like for example here do, it does, go, goes, watch, watches, finish, finishes, kiss, kisses, study, 
studies and have has. When the words and in O C H S H S X or Z, you add an E S at the end of the words, like for example, box ends in X, boxes. Go ends in O, goes. Watch C H watches. Wash C H watches. You use the this only when you have she, her, it. That is very important. Only when you have she, he, or it. Let's go now with adverse of frequency. Remember that this is this only is a review of the contents. I always get up at six o'clock. Always could be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I always get up at 6 o'clock, so always is the representative form of 100%. And the total opposite here, I never play soccer. It's not my ability to play soccer, so that is represent to a 0%, okay, never. But I sometimes play video games, I don't know, Fall Guys, Fortnite, Free Fire, uh, I don't know, Call of Duty. And that is a 50%, okay? Sometimes. And I rarely dance disco. That is a 20%. And we have often with a 60% and usually with an 80%. Remember that usually is a false cognate. You cannot translate like usualmente. Usually in Spanish will be like generalmente. Okay, let's talk about now uh, vocabulary of unit number six. We're going to talk about food and drink. Pay attention to those pizza, ice cream, and strawberry and watermelon with ice. Okay, let's begin with the vocabulary. I tried to make categories vegetables and fruit, meat and fish, dairy products, drinks, and others. I put a picture to each word in order that you can understand a little bit a little bit better what I am telling you in English. So, peach, look at the photo. Then I have pear, look at the photo one more time. Apple, carrots, grapes, peas, potatoes, salad, corn, tomatoes. That is vegetables and fruit. Meat and fish, you have tuna. It's not the fruit. Remember, tuna is atun, salmon, ham, and chicken. Dairy products, it's not productos diarios. Pay attention with that. Productos lácteos. Porque tienen producción del con algún lácteo. Milk, cheese, and ice cream. Then you have drinks, water, milk, one more time, orange juice, and soda. Could be a Coke, a Sprite, I don't know, whatever you want. And finally, we have others category. We have bread, eggs, fries, potato chips, and ice cream. Okay. Let's talk about a little bit of grammar. I know that it's difficult for you, but we have to work it. So, one more time. I have the same examples, but in this opportunity, I have it in negative form. So. Here is Miss Jocelyn one more time, see you in class. And here, I don't teach math, of course, because I teach English. So, I don't teach math, because I teach English. And here we have one more time Ninja, and Ninja doesn't play basketballs. Basketball, sorry, of course, because he plays Fortnite. And finally, we have BTS, BTS, don't sing rock music. BTS, don't sing rock music. Yes, of course, because BTS are Korean and BTS sing a K-pop. Let's focus now on interrogative and short answer, okay? Because we have questions. Like, for example, one more time here is Miss Jocelyn. And do you teach English? Yes, I do. Of course that I teach English. Then here we have a Cristiano Ronaldo. I think that you know it. Does Cristiano Ronaldo play golf? I don't think so. So, no, he doesn't. 
does Cristiano Ronaldo play golf? No, he doesn't. And finally, this photo is going to be very, very familiar for you. Do they win a cup? Do they win a cup? Yes, they do, actually. Uh, years ago, okay? You have to pay attention a lot to this because when you use does in he, she, or it, you are not going to use the use of the s at the end of the of the verb. Like for example, does Cristiano Ronaldo plays golf? No, that is wrong. You have to extract that s and put it in the garbage. So does Cristiano Ronaldo play golf? Not plays. Okay, be careful with that. Okay, here we have uh, some boxes that could be helpful for you. I hope so. You have the full form and you have the short form. I do not swim. I don't swim. You do not swim. You don't swim. He does not. He doesn't swim and so on. The same happened with interrogative form. You have short answers. You have an answer that could be affirmative and an answer that could be negative. Do I swim? Yes, I do. No, you don't. Do you swim? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does he swim? Yes, he does or no, he doesn't. Remember that we're going to use does, that word, only with he, she and it. No more than that. With I, you, we, you, they, you're going to use do. Okay, and here we have something important that it's called object pronouns, okay? And here I have some examples that are going to be, I think, simple because maybe you know it. Here I have a poster of a very famous series that is a Stranger Things, I think and I hope, really hope that you know it. This series is awesome. I love it. That is it is because I am talking about the series, okay? I am talking about Stranger Things, that TV show, okay? This is a, this series is awesome. I love it. Me encanta la serie. For that reason, you use it. And then here we have a Camila Cabello. I think Camila Cabello is great. I like her. I like Camila Cabello, heard. For that reason, you use this word, okay? So here you have the subject pronouns that you're going to transform to an object pronoun. If I am referring to a person that is I, I am going to say me. If you have you, it's you. He, him, she, as here in the example, Camila Cabello, she, it's going to change to her. It, it, we, us, you, you, they, them. And there you have all the transformation to a subject pronouns into object pronouns, okay? Okay, so I think that we are done for this English capsule in this time. So I hope that you understand everything. Remember that if you have questions or doubts, don't hesitate, please write me an email only that write me and i am going to answer i am going to be very very glad to answer all your questions have a wonderful day a wonderful week and see you on online classes bye bye take care